Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I've come here to the heart of the Avebury complex. I'm going to have a wander around. Um, what we are on here is uh, this is the River Kennet, which is where East Kennet and West Kennet get their names. Um, you've probably heard of West Kennet Long Barrow. Uh, some people think that the word cunt is derived from Kennet and with all the stuff about history that I'm finding out at the moment that possibly could be true. Anyway, so Avebury's over there about a mile and a half so what's that, two kilometres um, as is West Kennet Long Barrow but here this, this is a henge, according to latest finds. Could be a henge and a stone circle, or could be a henge, a stone circle and other things. But I, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, we're off over the hills, so let's go. As you can see from this path, it's not the best of days. So I'm going to do what I can, the best I can. <laughs> uh, the reason I've come out today, we're off up here. Uh, there are some standing stones down there, but I'm not going to go along there because I want to get away from the wet. It's easier to walk. Um, the reason I've chosen to come out today is because it's, uh, it's some religious festival somewhere. It's December the 25th and there's some religious thing going on. Uh, so I thought that would be good because that means there isn't going to be that much traffic on the road and there aren't going to be that many people around so I can get maybe some quiet filming some nice nature sounds but as you can probably hear you can hear the road uh, reflecting over here but hey yeah so I'll put the camera away and get on Oh, we're nearly at the end of this path. Got up to the top, it's a lot, it's a lot less muddy on the ground. Now well, there is East Kennet Long Barrow. And we're going to go just along by those trees there. We're going into there and I want to show you something. Yeah, not a very good day for views. But can't make that happen. Now for those of you who don't know, this area is of this area of southern Britain is, or more specifically Wiltshire, is steeped in stuff. I mean look at that rising from the mist. And as we pan round, there are various things. Uh, but I haven't got my bearings on any of them. But one thing you can see is on the ridge of the hill there. Well, on Brow of Hill, as they say in these parts, you can make out that thing. That thing there, that's the tumulus. This area is so rich in tumuli and, and all kinds of other things. And there, that's East Kennet Long Barrow that we've just been looking at. That's it there. Uh, and then, if we look over there, over that way, you can see some some woods there on the distance. That's West Woods. And in Bluebell time, they are literally a carpet of bluebells from one side to the other in all directions. But also in there, and I may have to go there and do a video from in there, but also in there is uh, part of the Wandsdyke. But there is also a barrow in there too, 
right on the edge. Um, I don't know whose barrow, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot around here, so anything can happen. And it really is probably not the kind of day. I wasn't expecting this kind of day, so sorry about the rubbish views. But uh, this is one of the few days when there's going to be hardly any noise or people. <laughs> and if you heard the noise already, that's the noise on the quietest day of the year. Uh, let's, uh, let's get on. I don't really know which way I'm going. I know where I'm going to but it's how to get there is can cause me problems. Okay, well I've decided that I'm going to take a slight detour and come and have a look at East Kennet Long Barrow. I'm sorry for the farming equipment that you'll see here, but as you'll notice, we have beech trees here because this is an area of chalk downlands. So, beech being shallow rooted, they're okay here. It's quite long, this. Um, we are talking, well, I'm pretty good at judging distances. It's over a hundred meters long this. Over a hundred meters long. So I'm gonna go up and have a closer look. Come with me. Now you have to watch your footing. You can't go off looking at the trees around here because you might tread into a badger hole and break your leg. So if you do come up here at night Bring a torch and look at the ground, not the air. That's my advice. Well, here we are on it. And look at that. What's it aligned to? Silbury Hill there. That's interesting, isn't it? I actually would have to say it's a, it's a pretty perfect alignment. Uh, let's see if we can get further along. I mean, there's a lot of there's some ivy that's come down, obviously, from a, either a dead tree or no, it's been cut. It's been cut, so there is a little bit of care going on here. So I'm not going to go right to the end. It looks that's a scrabble through the jungle, but. Now if I get, I'm about halfway here, but Silvery Hill isn't dead ahead, it's slightly to the left there. So this isn't perfectly aligned, but it, it may be aligned with something at Beckhampton though. I may try and have a walk around the side, see if I can have a look over over the valley, the other side. Because that might be what it's aligned to. But first, I'm going to try and get some shots through the trees on Sir to Silbury Hill. Uh, we're leaving that place now. Obviously, I didn't need to tell you. And uh, I'm going to try and find a way out of this field. Where I want to go 
is where those trees come down there. That's where we're heading for. As my channel's not that big uh, yet. I doubt many people are going to go and find this, but it's not easy. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to try and find a way out of this field. I'm not going the way I came in. I'm going the other way, which is probably going to involve climbing some barbed wire. Anyway, I'm hoping, if my memory is right, because it's been ages since I visited this circle. Here's where you can see some of the chalk. If you look down into the field, little beacons of white. So if you imagine, back in the day, that mound there, when it was first made, that would have been glowing white. I imagine what that would have looked like in moonlight. It would have just been incredible, wouldn't it? Now I thought that this was where the stone circle was. But it seems to be missing. Which isn't unusual. There's a stone up there. Ah yeah, there are more. Okay. I firmly believe that this was a stone circle. Uh, I don't believe the stuff they say because, oh yeah it is, because um, there are too many. Oh, look at that down there. There's another clump of them. I don't know whether they're called standing stones or whether they are something. But there are more. Now I do think that this was a stone circle because of the amount of stones that are lying around. Archaeologists don't really live in the real time that they're looking at, if you see what I mean. Bit of a cleft, obviously where the sword was. Well, it could, it could have been. And there's some more here. There are a lot of recumbent and also just lent over stones on here. And it is a mound. You can see all round. Uh, you're in sight of uh, Silbury Hill over there. And I am certainly of the opinion that this was a stone circle. And look at this down here. See, there are quite a few here. And these obviously have been placed in a line. As you can see, I'm right out of the way and heading on up to the top. Guess who joined me? Little white bobbly bottoms. I've probably been walking 20 minutes since the last update. I can't imagine what colour my chin must be. It's not freezing, but it's definitely, definitely cold. And as you can see, the weather's drawn in. It's not wet anymore, but I mean, obviously it will be. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, that's where we've come from. The weather really has shortened visibility. But here we go. This here, is a crossroads so we must turn left here goes on down there and heads on out towards devices and here it heads on up down this way up down this way so we go along here for a bit this is clearly the one stike 
visibility is really low. I mean, I've just come up beyond that fence and that's a road there, track, can hardly see and then it disappears in the gloom. Well, I'm actually lost. <laughs> so I'm not sure, I may wander along here a bit, but I think I've got to go that way. But of course, because I, I use old maps, they don't have the new trails and things written on them. So uh, I, who knows how long this is going to take me. Anyway, strap in, this could take I, maybe some time. Because basically, and excuse my nose, but uh, I could quote Julian Cope again here, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, this is, this is the one strike here. And at some point, we've got to go that way. And there, there is a path through there, so I think it might be there. But because visibility is nil, <laughs> pretty much, it's so low, I can't see where it is that I'm aiming for. So, because we're going to hit the ridgeway as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wander along here a bit and then see and then I'll probably end up turning around and going down there because I did hear some people who seemed to be a bit panicking in the uh, in the gloom proper gloom I've just come down that that track there and I didn't want to go even further down without knowing where I was going so I've decided to climb up here but I really don't know where I am <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying it and kind of not so what I was going to do was hop over the fence here or maybe just follow it round and see because I really don't recognise this well, I have to say, I've found it. I had no idea, I just followed my instincts. Wow, look at that badger home in there. I just followed my instincts. I don't, you probably can't see, but there's the gloom over there and then there's, hill, there's trees coming down there and then the track comes through there and trees coming down there. So, I didn't, I'm not actually coming in the way I wanted to come in but that's okay because I'm actually in the phallus bit of it because this is like a phall this is like a phallus yoni um, place site and uh, that was what I was struck by when I first came in and found it now the stone circle is here unless unless farmers have been moving the stones uh, I, it's really hard to see in the gloom so no wonder I got lost because I can't make out I th that is the track I thought the stones were on the right kind of where that tree is but maybe I've misremembered I mean, this is all quite new and having been coppiced. Oh, but there's the, the circular dip in there. Now, as you see, if you look through, you can see the art, uh, the semicircular vulvary bit that goes round on the other side. And this fallacy mound that thrusts in the stone circle is right down there, right at the point where the two meet at the apex to them. Now, there aren't any stones remaining. And I'm pretty sure there were some when I came here. And I'm pretty sure we never had to climb a fence either, but... Yeah. So in there, In here is a mound. There, you see the, those trees there 
or just beyond those trees there, there's a dip and they kind of surround that dip in the top there. So I don't know what that would have been used for or why it happened, but I've no idea. So um, I think what I might do is I might head down here and go around that way and then we can get a few a view of the phallus. Uh, I'll put the camera away while I do this. Well, it turns out that I didn't know where I was. <laughs> I thought it looked different. I think this is it here. So ignore any of that past stuff. That's what the gloom can do to you. And especially if there's like parallel places. So yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm heading up here so I can then look down and get my bearings because I got a feeling I might be having to go to the next line of trees coming down so let's investigate if you look down here we have some recumbent stones and we also have some over there but we'll come across those in a minute so Let's get down there. Now, if I am in the right place this time, there is our stone circle, clearly written on maps made in the 1960s. So that's there, and if we pan round, You can see the phallus coming in to the yoni that goes round there and up to there. But that was a Hawthorne Avenue, still got some Hawthorne. So you come down the Hawthorne through these trees and you're met with the stone circle and the yoni and the mound with the trees on the top. So we've come back from there. A lot of Hawthorns actually have gone. And if you look there, on the ridge, East Kennet Long Barrow. Well, now that I've finished and done everything, look at the visibility. After I've already got lost, I'm really knackered myself get out going up some really steep, things with no visibility so I haven't known where I was going I just hoped but uh, I mean I'm assuming I'm in the right place I think that looks like the farm that I was the ridgeway comes down and near this farm so hopefully I've found where I am anyway here's the Hawthorne Avenue anyway Thanks for watching. See you next time. Tada. You couldn't walk. You can't walk through the Hawthorne Avenue anymore. But they're, they're like it's lined. One a Hawthorne either side. So this is the Ridgeway, another ancient path. So now I go down here and back past the farm.